This year has been all about the milestones. Unrestricted live events returned for one day in May. A three-day pilot event followed shortly after. And last month, the first major festival returned. Today, we're on our way to Bloodstock Festival, our first independent festival since the lockdown in 2020. We've been receiving requests to go to Bloodstock for years, and many people think we're going to be really out of our comfort zone. But believe me when I tell you, heavy metal is absolutely our comfort zone. If it wasn't, could I do this? <laughs> Exactly. So come with us on this journey to a festival we've never been to before, Bloodstock Open Air. God, I'm a good editor. Morning, boys. Morning. Is everyone excited? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Didn't get to sleep till like Because you were that excited about I, Bloodstock uh, Festival. <laughs> Woo! Woo Morning, Raz. Hello. What are you doing? No. What is that actually, oil? Yeah, so it's got a substantial oil leak. <laughs> Perfecto. But your bag is like the fucking size of fucking <laughs> big. <laughs> but it's one bag? Yeah, but it's big. Into the abyss the Frappuccino <laughs> goes. Comfy. You look comfy, man. Very, mate. I tell you what, I can't feel my fucking right leg for at least an hour now. We have arrived finally after going the wrong way a couple of times. Well, so the signage wasn't great. It should have been great. a sign. It's not, it's not our fault. fault. It's I'm an excellent driver. Oh, there's a shuttle. That's yeah. what I like. How was that journey for you, Chuck? As good as you can imagine. <laughs> it's normally a bit stressful when we get to a festival because we're not really that confident with where we're meant to go and stuff and we don't really know what we're on as. Like, we don't know if sometimes we're media, sometimes we're guests. Sometimes we're just regular, but this has been the easiest and simplest experience that we've had all year. And we've been to a few of these this year. Did you tell about donations? No, tell them. I mean, fair, fair play, they, they asked for like a 20 quid donation, uh, but they don't have a card reader. Uh, and I was chatting to the guy and I was saying like, even I have a car card reader. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we should have just got a square card reader. He couldn't agree more. Get a contactless machine, because we'd have both put 20 down there. So that's the machine paid for itself, guys. But an incredible experience so far. Shuttle bus to the to the thing. We're good to go in now. Let's let's crack on. First time we've ever been to a festival and camped all in a line. So we got Chuck, we got Raz, we got me, we got Jake, and then we got Chris. Oh, I'm so light-headed. Just bringing back Pokemon card memories. Pokemon card memories. You know when you try to lick it, try to practice licking out with Pokemon cards. They don't know about that. No, we're close enough friends now. We're close enough friends. You may as well literally camp on top of me. Yeah? Right, cheers, boys. A new experience for all of us. And I'm hoping a damn sight, good weekend. Probably the best weekend we'll have all year so far. Four, four best lads. Four, four best, best lads. lads. <laughs> Fuck anyone else. <laughs> What's up, boys? Scared of one, two, two fully grown animals. Scared of one wasp, yeah. Mate, last time I was stuck was the day my dad died, so I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> oh well, you know, every cloud. So I went to get my accreditation wristband. Just can see that it's crude, different to everybody else's. It's lovely. And on my way out to the, I was like, is this the just went to general camping. The guy was like, you want? Yeah, I went camping in general. He was like, why? I said, fortunately, my, my mates are peasants, so I'm gonna have to join them. I want to say I'm not a sellout. All right, I can't be bought. <laughs> unless you got the right price. But I just want to say that Fat Franks is a great guy. And I genuinely think that. Yep, and I'm same. not just saying that because they've just been so kind to us and given us a creative fucking strongbow just for free because they always post in the group. But if you need some click and collect for leads for camping goods, use these boys because I've only heard really good things and they're really nice guys. They're always in the San Pelli page, they're always posted and they always get a lot of love. And I really appreciate and respect that. And they've looked after us to say like, thanks for letting us post in the group. So. Not sponsored, but really kind of them to do that. And, and big up Fat Franks. And, and if you want an airbed, they'll pump it up for you, which is always, always a good reason. And if you go to Fat Franks and tell them that TPD TV sent you, they'll give you 10% extra charge on top so that you'll pay 10% more. <laughs> I have traveled many miles to bring you very comfortable double airbed pumped up for free from Fat Franks. When a blood start, you got a pie like a Viking, mate. I haven't had one of these since I was in the Swiss Alps. It's Little Swiss flex Alps. there. <laughs> it's the Swiss Alps coming straight to you. Oh, Ten doorstep. What percentage are these? These are only five, man. So first time at Bloodstock, a few people have... I've actually had more advice about Bloodstock than I've ever had about a festival. There's a load of people that seem to follow the channel and come in. And they've told me about the nightlife. And I've got some good news I can confirm now. 
that on the Sophie Lancaster stage, DJs are on till um, three in the morning. Oh, that's good. But even better than that, mate. How's about instead of that, till two in the morning at the New Blood stage, we can go and watch Cabin in the Woods and Evil Dead 2 till two in the morning? Wow, no way! And do you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if that's busier than DJs. <laughs> but we were saying, it's my dream to be in a club night and hear Through the Fire and the Flames in full. And if there's any place that's going to happen, it's going to be here. Unless Key Club on my 30th birthday, you want to just pander to me for seven minutes. So I've now got a very standard business belt that I use for job interviews. Hello, boys. Even men are here. Is that to everything? Drink your beer. Guess what? 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 Courtesy of Fat Frank. What? These. Oh. Your chair. Also courtesy of Fat Frank. Oh, he's yeah, a on the house. He's a good lad, that Fat Frank. Vals, I don't know if you've noticed, right, but so you're wearing some of our merch from a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I designed that, I used it just like a, I typed in like metal font, yeah. and that was like one of the first ones that was free to use. Mm -hmm. Not to say it's not a great t shirt. I mean, it's just the job, doesn't it? There's a Devin Townsend t shirt that's making the rounds here that loads of people have got, which uses that same font. You do. And I kept thinking, bloody hell, we've got quite a few fans here. But actually, we probably don't, and everyone's just wearing Devin Townsend t-shirts. So keep your eyes peeled, because it's literally the same thing. Pumped up your airbed. Enough. Could be worse, could be better. Yeah. Hey. Well, why don't you treat it like it's your dad and finish it with your mouth? <laughs> don't laugh at that, my dad's We're at Bloodstock, so first song obviously has to be a metal song. So let's, let's do it, boys. <laughs> This morning, give Chuck a brand new S3HPB Red Box logo t shirt. You know how rare they are. Look what he's just done. What's this? It was there to begin with, mate. <laughs> it was not. It was there to begin it with. It was not. So it's Friday the 13th, which wow. isn't Halloween. So we've decided we're going to dress up. But we've also decided we're going to dress up like metalheads. A lot of consideration has been put into these outfits and this is how we're going to be dressed for the rest of the night till three in the morning. <laughs> we got the Addy Rises, we got the skinny jeans with the book, Levi's as well. This is the problem I hadn't anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Lucky bachelor number two, reveal yourself. <laughs> the gloves. The gloves. Had to do it to him. Uh, with a pirate bandana as well. Real rock and roll. Hey, what up, homie? Hey, what up, homie? <laughs> you like my chain? <laughs> Quetch row all terrain moves, baby. For when I'm on my bike, like. Rah, rah, rah. Chris, you've brought the wrong bag, mate. You've brought your year nine PE drawstring bag. Eligible bachelor number three, reveal yourself. <laughs> I've got wrong jacket on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he makes a Eligible bachelor number three, reveal yourself. <laughs> Eligible bachelor number five, reveal yourself. <laughs> well, it's a good job I'm not thirsty anymore, isn't it? I know a Cortina's fan when I see one. Let's go. Right, we're gonna go for a wander around. We're gonna drink our big facts. We're just gonna get fucked up and hopefully find someone to take a picture of us. So all this effort was worth it when we get some validation on Instagram for these outfits. We're gonna open our massive 1,000 milliliter beers, which sounds like a lot, but it's just a litre. Let's go see what this festival is actually all about. Oh, oh boy. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 I appreciate that they've tried their best. But I'm a man who knows a, a font when I see one. That's just a rebranded Easy Cheesy.
disgusting. Stage. So no matter what, you're gonna get some noise. So we're gonna have to be shouting a lot this video. That's Benji from Skindred. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I just met Mr. Padgett from Bullet for My Valentine. One of my favorite guitarists from this year. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Do you want tobacco free? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Pussies. Mint, mixed fruit, peach or raspberry. Is this a drug, Chucky? Not at all, mate. It's, um, it's, as you put it, it's just like smelling an air freshener. Rob's words are not mine. No, I meant that... When you next see him, I say, oh, what did you describe a shisha as? It's like smelling an air freshener. No, I... Just spout Razzy out real quick. We're about to go and watch Evile. They're who I'm literally most looking forward to. Prayer for hell to be unleashed! Evile! Now we're off about to attempt to sit down until the DJs are on. Just checking my uh, eBay notification. One thing I've did over lockdown was collect Star Wars books. So, as you see here, there's uh, Lords of the Sith, which is 80 quid. I managed to get that for 20 quid the other week. Right, we're back to camp now, and we're going to yes. chill until the silent disco. And on my way back from camp, I've seen a lot of people with a swastika on the t-shirt. And admittedly, the swastika's crossed out and it says like, fuck Nazis. But what's probably better is just forget about the swastika altogether and don't put it on the t-shirt to begin with. Because the only place I ever see a swastika is on a t-shirt that says, we don't like swastika. If you don't like them, just don't put them on the t-shirt. <laughs> Anyway, let's get fucked up. <laughs> What's going on? Right, right, look up. Right, let's go. in this field than I've got at home. You know what? It's a plastic spoon as well. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Feel it's it. It's not plastic. Feel it I'm not even going to buy yeah, it. You feel it then, mate? It is plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really it, 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 it is plastic. That one, my neighbours. <laughs> Check this out. Can you take those shiny pants off? Why? I don't need to tell you why, do I? Just take them off for God's sake. He is the big daddy of Bioshock in person. Relax. <laughs> You're not allowed glass in festivals and you should never sneak glass in. But we have been gifted a glass bottle of Disarana. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack it and we're gonna each have a sip of the forbidden glass bottle Disarana before we decant it into its natural habitat. Cheers. You know you are who gave us this, we love you. It's the fucking Catalina wine section. Fucking delay on those uh, fireworks, isn't there? So I'm assuming that's Devin Townsend finishing. I had big respect to Devin because 
He arrived in the UK like 12 days ago and isolated for 10 days in a hotel. So you've got people like Queens of the Stone Age who like can't be fucked, who just pull out. Like, but Devin exactly came over, isolated, isolated for 10 days, and then we saw some fireworks. So big up, Devin. It? it was Devin Townsend by request, so hopefully someone requested him to play some Biffy Clyro tonight. Is that just... Oh well, but it's it's now rum, desirano, and coke. Oh, Do you realize we're going in? We're gonna. It's Friday. It's Friday it's night. Friday. I'm gonna admit, I'm a little bit cold, just because I do have an open shirt. So Chris was a kind gentleman offered me his jacket. Sorry. I wasn't wearing that dead gowns. Also, that's rich. You're talking about dead. Playing. Two touch back in the M, one ten on the M, trying to take a chase. Big fast stack in my bag when I unzip that, I'm gonna make it rain. Come on, run down this rain. Right, let's do the first let's frame. Sit one, one. What's going on? What, what, my going on? what have you brought through? Small can of Corona. How did you bring that through? Because I'm an intellect and I had one on the way, and then you go, oh, everyone else is bringing a drink. And I'll just say, yo, give us a bit of that. And they go, yeah. And then you've got dizzy. Raz has got dizzy. And Jay's got dizzy. So that's that. Plus three Dizzerano. Think smarter, not harder. I just want to say, I want to go on the rides tonight. If we don't go on them, that's not my fault. Where do we go in the DJ tent? There's a disco ball up there. And it comes in like 10 minutes. So. Big or small, fuck them all. That's my boy. I love while she sleeps. There's nothing, nothing could make this bad for me. in there but when so many people enjoy the blood out gang you've kind of got to leave Crocs Where's mouth. my tent? Have you tried? What's going on with your nose, mate? Am I burnt? No, it's just ugly as fuck. <laughs> and that's coming from Rob Kelly. So if my nose is bad, fuck me. That it, it, what? It, lovely water. Oh, What's Raz? Oh, he's fucking Raz. Comfy. You're a good fucking lad, mate. Shut up. Just... Hurry up now, because Chucky's here and, and Jake. Right, and no one. Hurry up. <laughs> here we are, Raz. Yep. Here we are. Good night. It's been a lovely night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I'm gonna eat some pork scratchings with Jake. <laughs> Morning. How are you? You alright? Sponsor a child today. Get caught with using the Xiaomi electric toothbrush, much against Donald Trump's wishes. Take them pants off because all of us have got stiffy. Try waking up in the morning and feeling yourself. A, a blimmer, sir. Can I have a feel? Wow. 
got dry skin. Oh, why are you got to be rude? Because I had to Straight leave the house. Straight in the bin bag. Neither no, dry. <laughs> My eyes were born closed. <laughs> oh, Daddy, no. <laughs> So I don't really remember last night. Was it any good in the club, in the DJ thing? Absolutely fucking not. No. Why? Because I get that we're at a very heavy metal festival. But you don't go to a club to listen to a guy literally scream. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not something you can dance to, I'm afraid. So uh, so we made our own entertainment, as you saw. And then we uh, fucked off to rides, which I definitely went on. Your beer hard. No! Yeah. Mm. <laughs> People that listen to heavy metal are inherently clean. So we're gonna be clean as well. We got this bin bag with the world's largest opening. It's more opening than it's not. And <laughs> we're just gonna clean up the bits that we kind of used. It's your bin bag for your wheelie bin in your house. Oh, I've only got 20 of these, mate. They're well expensive. You've got 19 it's now. It's like a 200 litre boiler. you got 200. you got 19 now. That's a very metal toothbrush. What flavour are these? Bone cocktail? They're pretty nice, you know. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Why lick a mosher's tuppence when you can just eat one of these and it tastes the same? <laughs> so the main campsite that everyone says is sick here. It's called Midgard. And so we're gonna have a wander through there and see what's going on. And if it's not absolutely popping off, then you're gonna hear about it. We're also gonna go for a coffee, maybe some breakfast as well. Because it is almost 1 p.m. Right, I'm gonna rinse Chris. <laughs> Chris, you're a non <laughs> Basically, we were told Midgard is a party fucking place to be. And as you can see, it's fucking popping off. It looks mental, it's crazy. Whoa! I'm so happy that we oh so happy we've come through here, man. We've missed a real treat. It's mental, you know. I heard like one fucking speaker playing music, man. It's fucking metal. We're gonna come here and look for the people who do bin jousting. Now I'm not gonna do the jousting, but my man Chocky's surely gonna get in a bin and do some jousting, isn't that course, right, mate? mate? As long as you're my, you're, you push me. And the good thing is, if you're getting in a bin, it'll just be like returning home. Yeah, mate, back to your mum's. Oh. <laughs> so when you're at a festival, you miss, you really miss those home comforts, like your Nvidia GTX 1080. So that's why here. You can see there's a load of Xboxes and PCs and shit to play on. Which I think is quite cool actually. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. So yeah, let's see if they've got guitar or two. Well that was interesting, isn't it? It did, it did smell like CEX. The guitar would be perfect in there. Yeah. And yeah. I know it probably doesn't align with like the brand that whatever that is is trying to push. But a guitar or arcade cabinet or three or three or four in there would be excellent, especially at this festival. Jake, you're up first. Great. I know I got a beard, but yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. That would have gone in with a bit more effort. <laughs> yeah, with a bit more. Well, do you know what? And it was on target as well. <laughs> <laughs> hold on to it. All right, yeah. Yeah, hold on to it. And then when I'm moving it, move your arm with it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I mean, it's on. It's on there. Yeah! Right on target. Got This is so not my style. How's your latte, Raz? I don't know. I literally haven't had a sip of it yet. <laughs> Have a sip and tell. How's the latte? Cold. Mine's great. Did you order an ice latte? All I'm having all weekend is kebabs from this place. And they're pretty good. It was very nice yesterday, and I'm going to get it again. What are you boys getting? I don't know. What are you boys getting, and how long is it going to take you to just realise that you're having a kebab? Oh, kebab. Yeah. What are you having? You're the one who's a vegan, probably but not yeah, for fish. a burrito, perhaps. Yeah? I'm not. Maybe you can just eat some of this grass off the field there. Eh? Nothing inconspicuous to see here. What up, brother? Hello, so good to see ah. you. Good to 
Yeah. Yeah. Go down, to brother. Good, yeah. to see you. Good to see you. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Kebab was nice. Wash it down with a nice coffee. Not the perfect combination, admittedly, but a combination that we've ended up with. We're gonna see Chucky's favorite band, Male Male Violence. So we were talking last night, Val's, weren't we? Yeah, we were. And like, you know, like a schoolgirl outfit is generally considered pretty sexy. Yeah, absolutely. Like the skirt, and the, I've never seen a, a, a school that makes the pupils wear them, so I'm not sure why it's called a school. But I think it's a unanimous kind of understanding that that's a sexy outfit. Yeah, probably. And then we were saying, I wonder if girls feel the same way when they see Angus Young from ACDC in his schoolboy outfit. I mean, because it's the same premise. It's it? the same exact premise. So ladies, if you're out there, would you shag Angus Young? And does he turn you on when he's wearing his little schoolboy outfit? Comments below. This is the official download versus Bloodstock circle pit competition. So there's new cocktails going on at Bloodstock Festival where you get them in these plastic cups, which actually I needed a cup actually, so thank God they brought these. And it's cut like wood and like mud and shit. So it's gonna be really good. A quick one, I just wanna tell you, this toilet's lovely and it's in general camping, right in the middle. Have a look. Clean seat, some, mm, Never mind. That was quite possibly the nicest general camping shitting experience I've ever had. Very good, very, very nice, really clean. Another testament just to the community that's here. Um, people are, are just generally nice. Also, I think there's a football team sponsored by the Pirate Bay. At least my dad cared about me when he was here. It's not fully true though, is it? Yeah, it is. He gave crazy. like 50% and it was like, yeah. Your dad I think he cared more about Mary to you. Your dad made a choice yeah. to not be involved in your life. Yeah, but my dad's still alive and I'd know but that. And he survived more? the thing your dad didn't. So it just, <laughs> just goes to show that's like... Yeah, but your dad... I've got I've got a dad and he's great. He, you're, you're living the best life because your dad cares about you and he's alive. Yeah. My dad cared about me and was 50%. dead. 50%. His dad don't care about him and is alive. Chris? And your dad, Chris. Yeah, and your dad's at home cooking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to grow up? Oh, if you've got one going, mate. Love one. Uh, pull the virus. <laughs> <laughs> A bungee cord. <laughs> Was there milk in this? <laughs> There's, I uh, <laughs> did, you, did you wash it? The fact he's not said yes straight away. It's extra flavour. Try it. Milky dark fruits. Come on, try it. You've got to <laughs> your mum's a milky dark fruit. It's literally just our fruit. Yeah, but it's the idea of it, innit? <laughs> Come on, Chucky! Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! What is it? What is it? It's nothing. Ghost Chili Absent? Ghost Chili Absent. Sounds Absinthe. lovely. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You missed me so Oh, my fucking God. Come on. No, seriously, what the fuck? Go on, Say it was going silly, I did warn you. Mate, just try it. Oh. Right, fuck, yeah, alright then. Fuck it, and it us. The issue is, oh, he's dead. a man who can handle a oh, lot of yeah. shit. So if it's, if it's really... Oh. Him, then... <laughs> this is going to turn into a... That's the worst thing I've ever had. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Why do people like do this for pleasure? Bad, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? Like, a, weird, a weird world we live in. Josh, this, what's going on? No, for... Oh, no. I did say you could go to college, you've got to try oh. some of it. I'll tell you what, I've got milk now, won't it? Well, get some down, you're on 5%. I've got to Let's try and get all this mud off them. Oh, God. Don't do that. Don't tell me what to do. Don't make it air bomb. Uh. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Yeah. oh dear. What the fuck are you oh doing? Dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. 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 Oh d
Oh dear. <laughs> Do you need a minute? <laughs> oh my god. It that burns your lips so bad, don't oh it? Oh my good god. <laughs> oh, you got some dart fruits. There you go. Milky dart fruits, it'll be right. Don't. don't oh god. It's milky <laughs> dart fruits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I've just ingested. Some napalm Who death? fucking that, brought that, that out of you? Like, that's not who, a proper who's, drink, who's, is it? No, who's yeah, this? No. Him? Who's drinking yeah. it? <laughs> we didn't bring that. Do you have a lighter? You're I think a that was a hate crime. You're, you're a cunt, mate. <laughs> you psychopath. You're right, Jockey. <laughs> I revel in that. I revel in it. My lips are on fire. You know when you, you, know when you get hot, <laughs> Mercy? <laughs> what the fuck was that, mate? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's the worst fucking thing I've ever had. Yeah. I, I swear. <laughs> Look at him, not me. <laughs> I'm 29 years old. And I'm fortunate enough to have a life where people bring me drinks over for free <laughs> and because of that i've had a lot of weird drinks but i can safely say that that is not only the worst thing i've ever drank but will remain the worst thing i've ever thank you will remain the worst thing i ever drink in my life come here you come here I don't take any responsibility for this. What's your name? Stevie. Stevie. Yeah? This is Stevie. I everyone love the in, channel, by the way. Everyone in the comments put, fuck you, Stevie. Stevie. I am sorry, Cal. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally <laughs> never fucking sick unless I'm incredibly unwell. And that, that, that really fucking rattled me. Like, I'm... I, I can put away a lot of fucking drink without fucking chopping. But that is fucking grim. Bit spicy. A little bit. Just been down to hospital because Missus has popped out a kid. It turns out it's a fat kid. My mate, my mate James Heffield was was delivering the baby, and do you know what he said as he handed it the baby over? Metallica keeps you heavy, baby. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jesus Christ, <laughs> bitch bastard. Right, we're off to the disco in an hour. Only an hour. Let's get some drinking then. Yeah, I've, I've got my booze. Yeah. What, a can of Coca-Cola and a bottle of water? What are you doing? We're putting the old chairs away, as you say, because it's time for... The Silent Disco. If I don't hear cyanide eight times, I'm going to ride. Just call me international drug what smuggler. What you got in here, mate? Nothing, mate. I just got... Hang on. Looking kind oh, of what's fine, this? Though. One drink. Oh. oh, let's not let's not get carried away in front of the uh, entrance. Oh no, my stomach! I've got, I've got I've got period pains. Oh! First in the last one out of the club. First in the room. If I hear some forty one more than once, I'm you're you're gonna all this vlog is gonna be is me talking about it. So for both of our sake, you better up that they don't play this. And just for the record, what? it's not that, I don't mind playing hearing some 41 twice if it's You're different You're not gonna hear some 41 here. Feeling good, Chuck? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Is it legal to shag your Patronus charm? You know it's a Metallica gives you every baby! Yeah. All the single ladies! All the single ladies!
Easy good, easy good. We're going to go back to camp, I reckon. Right, I am um, leaving the. I'm leaving the silent disco. Oh. I'm uh, walking home from the silent disco. I'm on my own. But let me tell you, it was excellent. Them two lads who were DJing the silent disco tonight, they had good banter between themselves and they also played some big bangers. But that's not even the main event. Over the lockdown, I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto and I made a lot of friends on Grand Theft Auto. And it's weird to say that you've made friends in a city that doesn't exist. But in the streets of Los Santos, we all made a lot of friends. Barbecue chicken wrap. Also, what the fuck have you got all over your head? What do you mean? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Is it the headset? Well, it Is it the fucking headset where I've been sweating? <laughs> where I've been rocking and mocking? Vibe <laughs> Razzy, it's the brothers. So it's the last day. The Sunday. This is the day in which we're going home. My neck look. Did you have a good night last night? It was alright, you know, just had a little boogie. I don't know, the disco was a bit in did they play any some 41 after I left? No, some 41, unfortunately. There was some bangers on there, to be fair. They did a pretty fucking good job while I was there. Well, one of the, one of the stations is all right. One of them was a bit shite. All right, that's the beauty of the sound disco, though, isn't it? That's right. why the one at Download was shit, because you could there was only one, one channel. channel. <laughs> Packing away his official FC Barcelona sleeping bag. It's the last day today. And it's been a pretty easy ride, this festival, to be honest. It's been a damn sight easier than Latitude was. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. And today we're just gonna rock out with cocks firmly in our pants and not out. And we're gonna see Judas Priest. And until then, we've got fuck all to do. Uh, what time is Judas Priest on? Ah, 10 p.m. What time is it now? Ah, 10 a.m. These pop-up tents are easy, aren't they? Eh? Everyone raves about, ah, oh, pop-up tent. Where's my tent, you might ask? Oh, it's away in its bag, in my two bags. I'm struggling with that one, Vals. No, no, I'm just getting a bit of work out of it. Yeah? Rather than getting pop-up tent, just get up like five minutes earlier. Done. That's really easy to put away. Good, because I've got just that like same you, one for the term. Here's a really quick and uninteresting Judas Priest story for you. So in like 2009, I won tickets to a festival. I can't remember for the love of fuck what it was called, but it had Judas Priest and Dream Theater headlining. And that was a dream for me in like 2009. And I won these tickets and I couldn't go because none of us drove because we were all too young and I don't drive. And I was really sad about that. And now finally I'm gonna get to see the old Judas Priest. We're actually probably the dirtiest camp I've seen here. Yeah. Which I guess says a lot about our drinking habits. But, um, or maybe just about our littering habits. But as you can see, we're getting everything tidied away now into one of these big old bin bags. Just to leave one nice bag. Last night when I got in from Silent Disco, uh, I was, oh, you know what? Download a Netflix documentary. <laughs> Gonna watch that for a bit. So I'm watching it and I hear this like, You what, sorry? Just go, uh, uh, faster. Uh, he's like, Ooh. And she was like, oh, it's gone on the tent. And I was like, I was like, great. Now I want to wank and I've got no internet. Sorry, man, I'll, 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 um, You'll help me out. I'll keep Thanks, it quiet man. next Thanks, time man. when your mum comes around to the tent. <laughs> got him. What are we doing? Chris, the key element is to do them in as little trips as possible. And you look like a stacked man there. It's that pillow there. <laughs> right, good luck. Thanks, mate. Oh, no. I'm back in Razzie's car. Hi. 
To be fair, it does it does remind me of Razzie's car as well. I am desperate for a Red Bull. Yeah, me too. Good lord. Jake, how many are you getting? Oh. Here he is. Hiya boys, alright. What have you got there, mate? Wait, it's Sunday, innit? So you gotta have your Sunday roast. Yeah. Is that is that a load of wasabi on top? I'll tell you what. I'll have your food in a minute. You're an ugly cunt, That is a futile attempt at covering your legs from the rain. So, I've just bought two bags of crisps, five mini rolls to keep the family fed, and a cherry coke to go with the cherry shisha. How much do you reckon that was? Bear in mind we're at a festival. Um, so I'm thinking, a bag of crisps, quid each. Can of coke, quid fifty. Mini rolls, two quid. Seven quid. Six quid. Oh, nice. Pretty good, that. Yeah, it's it good. We've been talking about Pokemon, and we've decided to make our own Pokemon. And each one of us has come up with a different version. And I know there's a lot of you out there that are very talented. So if there's any digital artists out there, I'd love to see some proper like renders or artwork of these Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, up first, the nods. Oh, is that me? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, what was the name of the Pokemon again? You tell me. Oh, no pressure. Oh, no pressure, mate. Well, I know it wasn't Gortozoid, because that's obviously a real real Pokemon. <laughs> Cronstrumman. Cronstrumman. So, here he is. Right. So, he's a, he's a, bit, of a bit of an odd character. <laughs> Chris. Don't know what it was. Well, I don't know who that was, because this is actually Cronstrumman. <laughs> oh. He is... Legend of the Gobbos? Um, <laughs> he's half dinosaur, half cow, nose, and I, just, I think his type is electric. Oh! So I introduced the water rock Pokemon, Cromstrum. Oh. He's Ooh. a Cromstrum. <laughs> right, yeah. And he's strumming his guitar, mate. And he's oh. a, um, you know, rock, because he's in performance of the master. Oh, he's a rock type? He's a rock on water type. <laughs> Because get the ladies wet. I mean, the other female Pokemon wet. That's, that's clever. And, and, that's, that's and he's, got a little, he's got a little mustache and that because, you know, he's a ladies man. And they're all male type. You can't get a, ma a female crumbs from him, actually. So <laughs> very one. rare, but they're, they're very common on the beaches of Spain. I don't know who them three cunts were. Because this is Kronstrom, <laughs> alright? Now, he is a... We're talking about this new Pokemon that I've just invented called Kronstrom. <laughs> so, this is Krom Kronstrom. <laughs> so this what is... What type is he? Well, if you listen, I'm getting to that. Kronstrom is a ghost and water type. Patience! 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 Right, so, Kronstrom is a water and ghost type. It goes... It goes around with a with a rain cloud, right? And everyone he speaks to, a bit like you, everyone he speaks you to get really mean, sad. Mean, really that. sad. That's Cromstrom. <laughs> Me and Rob have just gone to the toilet in a lovely guest area toilets. Um, and we just before Rob goes in, I go, oh, I've got some, I've got some tissue paper. So I, I get like my pack of tissues and I give him like half, and I've got half for me. And then go for a shit. So I've had a shit, I stand up, I'm wiping, but then my other tissues in my, my pocket fall out into the hole. And I was like, oh dear, there's no bog roll. And I don't have a top and I didn't wear socks. So something else has gone and I'll leave that to your imagination. Feeling good, Vals? Mate, I'm feeling Ready to see some painkiller? Oh. <laughs> yeah? It's the only painkiller I want this evening, that's for sure. Well, as we walk away from the main stage, just to wrap up a little bit, it's been a great weekend. Really big thanks to Bloodstock for having us and accrediting us. We really appreciate it. I love this culture. And I don't know if that came across in the vid, but I truly do. There's no one nicer than Metalheads. And this is like a more concentrated, diluted, um, no, sorry, less diluted version of download. So the Metalheads here are extra nice. Best silent disco in a long time. Food's been great. The shuttle bus service is great. 
Big thanks to Fat Franks for looking after Chris and getting Chris in. If you need some click and collect shit for Leeds Fest, use the Fat Franks service. Or bang a link in the description. But yeah, it's been, been good. I felt the love. And now I'm feeling very fucking ropey. My nerves feel like they're too short for my arms, so I can't extend my arms. Let's go for a Mackey. Red Bulls. Yeah, me too. Didn't know your mum would come in <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a nice time at Bloodstock for the first time? It's, it's, been, it's been a time. I'll tell you what. There was nothing. Well, I say there was nothing else going on. We were meant to be doing the Weatherspoons Challenge this weekend, so yeah, you've we missed were. out on that, guys. We uh, however, it's been fun. Another festival under the belts. Yeah. You know, maybe depending on the lineup, some other time. Well, thankfully, next week we can relax for a bit, right? Oh yeah, yeah thankfully. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> we'll follow oh. Friday. This is what you've been waiting for.